Why would the FBI offer Christopher Steele a million dollars to verify a dossier about Trump-Russian collusion, and then the same FBI offer $3 million to Twitter to squash a story on the Hunter Biden laptop? Do you have any idea why a law enforcement agency would be planning to elections? Well, I, you raised a number of different issues there. So first, uh, as to the Steele dossier, that, of course, is a subject treated at great length uh, in the Durham report, which we, and again, predates my time as director. I understand that, but it was the we, same agency uh, paying a million dollars to push one story out or try to col collaborate one story and $3 million to quiet another story for political opponents. I so, don't understand. And then I would, uh, as to the second part related to Twitter, I would, I would disagree with your characterization respectfully. When there are payments to social media companies, that is by longstanding federal law going back, I think, about four decades where we have to pay companies for uh, their costs in responding to legal process. And it's not just social media companies. It's other kinds of businesses as well. Well, when those stories get out and you understand and certainly the dossier story, and I know that wasn't under your watch, but also the, the, the Hunter Biden laptop story that to me looks political to the American people. It looks political. And I'm just an everyday guy. I'm not an attorney, Mr. Ray, just an everyday guy. But to me, it looks extremely political. And that is why you're having trouble keeping the FBI's reputation afloat.